uh, without further ado, let us say hello to our next guest. He is the pride of France. He was victorious on Saturday at Madison Square Garden. He is the god of war, Benoit Saint Denis. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hello, are you? Hello, how are you doing? Very nice to meet you. Enchanté. Nice to meet you too. Have a seat, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you, you for much. joining us. I appreciate it. Nice to Pleasure. meet you. Uh, nice on to va meet. faire toute l'interview en français. Ah, d'accord. Parfait. Mon audience, il parle pas français, mais je veux parler avec vous en français. OK, pas de souci. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. But no. uh, I just wanted to flex for you for a second. OK, no I know worries. my French. Uh, thank you for coming. Welcome to the show. Why are you still in New York, by the way? You're just uh, hanging out? Yeah, I took uh, some days, uh, holidays with my wife and my kid. And uh, then we will go to... Uh, Guadeloupe and Martinique, uh, ah. which are French island. Uh, of course, c'est bon ça. Uh, where, yeah, and my brother is there, he's uh, doing medicine, he's, well, he was in my corner. Uh, wow, uh, your brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he a, is he a fighter? No, 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 he's just behind me, he's, he's um, um, a doctor. Wow, a doctor. and you had him in your corner? Yeah, yeah, he was the third man. Uh, I have always a brother of mine uh, that is in the corner, it's him or... One of my, uh, I have four little brothers. Wow. Uh, he's just behind me. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to have him. So do they offer any advice or are they, are they just there for the experience? Is there help for the weight cut? Ah. Uh, they are not, they are, uh, it's not holidays for them. They, they are like uh, in the war mentality. They come in, they help me with the weight cut. They prepare everything uh, like... Uh, uh, take the temperature of the bath for cutting weight, stuff like that. They they help uh, preparing the stuff. But uh, on when I come to the fight, they t take food, everything, just like a little logistic help, you know. I love that. Yeah. Now, how do you decide which brother is going to be in your corner if you have four? Uh, I have uh, one that is living in uh, uh, Guadeloupe, uh, which is uh, near the States, okay. as the United States. So when it's Vegas or New York, he is the one. Uh, and it's one of my uh, three other brothers when it's in Paris, France, because uh, I have the choice then. Okay. Are any of them fighters? Uh, they have all uh, a black belt in judo. Oh, wow. There are no, no fighters. Wow. Yeah. Do you think any of them are going to follow in your footsteps into uh, MMA? Uh, I'm, no, I'm not sure, but uh, they are all um, uh, doing a duty like I did. Like uh, one is doctor, the, then behind is... Um, um, in the army, but, uh, you know, firemen, oh, uh, wow. French firemen in the army. And then the two last uh, are doing a kinesiotherapy, like a physiotherapist. So it's all good for me because it, yes. they are following the adventure and they are helping uh, the way they can. What a family. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. And I believe, uh, is your wife a police officer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's police officer and a dog. Uh, uh, we have two dogs, uh, walking dogs, you know, uh, and uh, we, yeah, we are living with them. Uh, and uh, it was a uh, her main job, but now she's uh, also my agent. So it's oh. like a family adventure, you know. Wow. Now, now we have a kid. Uh, she she takes uh, off the police job. Uh, on um, she takes time for me on my career, and she's helping me uh, as much as she can uh, to to make the adventure pay and to make it. Uh, um, a family adventure. Yes, uh, and and she's here in New York. I think your your yeah. your newborn is here as well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. A boy? Yeah, no, a girl. A girl. Excuse a girl. me. Yeah, yeah. Would you ever have your wife in your corner? No, I don't think so because uh, it's uh, the mentality, the spirit you have to have inside the, the octagon is uh, is uh, one kind of spirit. I, I even for the wake up, I don't want to see her. I always make she come uh, the day after or the day of the. Um, where you weigh in yeah. um, a couple of hours after. So she came in like at 2 p.m. Uh, on Friday, for example. Okay. So there are some people who like to show up to the arena with their wife or their girlfriend holding hands, things like that. You, you'll never be one of no, those guys? No, no, after, after the war. After, after, of course, after the fight, yeah, it's, uh, it's party time. Okay, I love that. Um, was this your first time in New York? No, uh, third time, because I got a, a good friend of mine who was uh, in the f Special Forces with me. Uh, he got married to a Philadelphia girl. Okay. And um, they are living there. And uh, I went for his wedding uh, like a couple of uh, years ago. And uh, I had the occasion, and it's uh, Philly is not far from here, to visit New York a couple of days. But first time fighting in New York. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, and first time since COVID, of course. Right. How would you describe the experience? I mean, what a, what a performance. Another incredible one from you. But just MSG, you're fighting a New Yorker. So at first, maybe they're not 
too warm to you. I thought you got the crowd behind you afterwards with your post-fight interview, yeah. but just the whole energy of being in that building and then performing and getting the knockout like you did, how would you describe the whole experience? Um, I was very active the, the couple of last months, uh, like I had three, three fights in five months. So um, it was funny because I was like a, a, big, a bit uh, robotic, you know, no emotion, uh, just doing my job, you know, uh, getting in there and uh, like uh, uh, having the job done, you know, uh, very methodical, mm. very uh, uh, a, a studio, a, a studi stu studying the game and just doing what we have been working on for for the last weeks. And uh, um, but I I enjoy the moments um, after the fight. The moment the head kick landed, I knew it was over, mm. and uh, then I started enjoying. And um, it, it was a special day, a uh, special opponent also. So a uh, lot of of small stuff together that uh, have been making this fight very exciting for me on my corner, on my staff. So we have been working hard and uh, it, it pays off because, you know, we were not sure to accept the fight uh, uh, this shortly after the performance in Paris. Because uh, I had already two fights in in like uh, like three months, and then uh, one more uh, like uh, two months after. So we were like, okay, but it's Madison Square Garden. It's a great opponent. It's uh, Armistice Day, uh, and you know I know I have the level and the skills to, to be there with those guys. So I, I wanted to go out and uh, to to do my job. And you did that. What was your um, what was the significance behind your mouthpiece? Yeah, um, my 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 mouthpiece was for the uh, the special occasion, uh, the eleventh November. This is it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it's is the fourteen eighteen? Yeah, it's uh, the date of um, a nine. It's uh, nineteen fourteen or nineteen eighteen. Oh. It's a uh, first world war. Yeah. So uh, millions of guys of young guys have uh, given their life to. To protect our freedom, and uh, then we had uh, our your help, um, like uh, the last year of the w first world war, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's it was a very special occasion because uh, um, you you have also a great uh, a great um, occasion by uh, making it also Veterans Day here in the U.S. I loved it, so yeah, uh, I wanted to do that. <laughs> and uh, you are a veteran as well. Uh, yeah. How many, five years you were in the French army? Yeah, it's uh, like one and a half years of uh, formation to, to, to be special in the special air service, coming from nothing. Uh, I, I, I believe it's uh, the only special forces in Europe where you can go from no army uh, directly into the special forces, but only 10% make, make, make it out. Wow. Like we were 60 at the beginning, only 10% makes it out for, from the year and a half training and then you 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 are a special force in in france and uh, um the period i have been serving in was uh, all about the sub saiyan desert you know uh fighting boko haram fighting al Khan. i have been fighting al Khan a lot so um, a couple of um uh, identified uh, terrorist group uh uh, overall in Africa, we took back uh, Tombuktu, the airport in Tombuktu, and our president uh, went there uh, after we took it back uh, a couple of months after. Uh, yeah, it, it was uh, uh, an adventure and uh, I loved it. And uh, it was hard for me to to quit, to quit this because it was a lot of investment to, to do that. But there's a passion for mixed martial art. Uh, when I started BGG 2017, I loved it. Then uh, 2018, I started kickboxing. I was like, I like both. <laughs> and then I tried MMA like uh, in September 2018. 15 days later, I, I did an amateur tournament. I won. And then I, uh, I, I asked myself, okay, I want to do this for, for a living. Is it possible? And I find out uh, there is professional career, everything. And uh, I went on selection with uh, my head coach, Daniel Warin, at the Venom training camp in Paris. And I was uh, one of the only guys without a fight that was selected uh, uh, with a guy like Morgan Chaya, who is in the UFC now. Mm -hmm. uh, but he had already like uh, uh, more than um, 10 professional fights. So I was thinking if this guy, uh, Daniel Warin, who has been training Anderson Silva and Anderson a lot, lot of tough guys. If he says this guy uh, 
um, is a bet I have to take, um, then uh, I have to go. You know, I, then I stopped my contract with the army and uh, I didn't resign. Uh, I went on adventure and I, I quit my job for first fight for a couple of hundreds of dollars. Uh, and, uh, and, and then it has been great because two years later we went to the UFC. It's incredible. What a yeah. story. So prior to being in the army, did you have any background in martial arts? I did judo when I was a child. Okay. Um, from eight to 16. But um, more for fun than uh, I had, I was not really passionate about judo. Uh, because I was like in small clubs, you know, where um, I was uh, like kind of the only guy that uh, loved competition inside it. So I, I already like competition, but with one training per week, you are not going to, going to be competitive. But I loved it and I went uh, uh, till the black belt and I did also uh, some good, I had some success in, uh, in judo. But uh, I didn't train enough because I already knew I wanted to go to the military. I also tried rugby. Um, I loved it also, and then uh, I, st I stopped because uh, because it was not very professional. It was amateur. You get injured a lot because the guys it like old school judo, you know. So at 16, I stopped. Uh, I stopped judo, and I, I trained my body to go to the special forces after after getting the high school done, and I did that. And yeah, 2017. I don't know why. I I, I saw a poster of my my current uh, ground coach uh, on a car uh, with uh, two guys doing BGG and I was like, uh, I was curious and uh, I tried it and I was like, oh, it's good stuff, it's some good stuff. Wow. Did you watch the UFC? Were you familiar with what was going on? Yeah, when I started BGG, I started to but watch But even it. prior to that? like uh, Yeah, like... Um, I, I, I enjoyed watching it because, uh, you know, I, I went to the Special Forces to be part of the, the, the best warriors uh, of my countries. It was in my mentality, in my philosophy of life. I wanted to be part of like uh, this kind of small groups doing uh, um, very um, important geopolitical missions uh, and being uh, great at uh, using any kind of weapons. Uh, uh, any any kind of uh, way of approach uh, of the enemy, uh, skydiving, subdiving, uh, wow. um, um, everything. You know, it, it was all this adventure that I loved and that I wanted to be part of. So, like um, uh, close combat, close combat is part of it. Uh, is a small part of it. So, of course, uh, I already had some like uh, the. Uh, Anders, uh, Dan Anderson against Shogun fight. It's one of the fights that makes me love MMA right away. Okay. And when I started BGG, then I I uh, felt in love uh, even more, and uh, I uh, I um, restarted watching it. And then I saw the fight, for example, the McDonald versus Robbie Wallower fight, and I I was thinking, if if I'm doing a career, this is what I want. This is what I want to experience. That's amazing. I have, uh, we commemorate it with this. Yeah, this yeah, yeah, crazy with the nose broken. Crazy, and, uh, right? Crazy fight, crazy fight. Uh, th that is amazing. Do you think that if you never saw that poster and started doing BJJ and all that, would you still be in the army? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think so? Yeah, because uh, I would not have discovered uh, Christophe Savoca with my my uh, grand coach. And he's the guy that gave me... Uh, it was. It's kind. It's like a rebirth, you know. He, he gave me this the passion, and um, the emotion of the sport, the love of competition. Uh, he, 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 he showed me also the the mindset. Uh, yeah, he is the guy that put me back uh, in in combat sports. Uh, maybe I would, but but maybe later. You know, right. I don't know. But this guy, and he's still with me. And he's also uh, uh, in the family now because um, he's, uh, he's kind of the, I don't know how do you, you call it, the uncle of the, my daughter, but uh, oh, yeah. when you do it in the, the church. The godfather. He's a, yeah, exactly. Yes. The godfather of my, of my daughter. So um, him and Daniel uh, are the two guys that have been uh, bringing me back to competition. And uh, uh, now I enjoy the process. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, a whole family uh, adventure. It's incredible that it's been less than five years since your debut. Did, like, is this all happening faster than you thought, or were you expecting it to go down like this? 
Not really, because uh, what is uh, very interesting in the sport is there is a lot of uh, instinct. In uh, it, 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 it's it's not only about um, how bad you how bad you want it, but it's also do you have the intelligence and the capacity to um, to learn new stuff and to be curious about all the stuff. For example, I cannot understand a mixed martial artist that doesn't want to be the best in everything. Mm. That's what I was trying to to be. When when I'm gonna be at the best time of my career, I want to be the best striker, the best wrestler, and the best ground guy of my division. So nobody can test me anywhere. And uh, I don't understand guys that are only satisfied by being the best striker or the best man. You are not the best fighter if you are not at least one of the best in everything. You 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 let a lot of openings to get beaten. And uh, I'm really passionate in being better every day in each of the discipline. On when you put them together, back together, also it's also a bit different. Right. And this is what makes uh, mixed martial arts special. You you have to you you have to use you know, not only your body but also your mind. And uh, it's uh, the mentality of the special air service. Uh, I was able to use it very well by doing um, adjustment in my, uh, you know, preparation, how I use my two, 24 hours, you know. Uh, if you are not on products, uh, y- your body is, uh, is not able to do too many uh, tough s- sessions a week. So you have to think about everything. Uh, when do I do technical uh, stuff? When do I do tough session uh, to bring it together well, and then to have a staff, very competitive staff that is uh, going to be uh, um, each session has to be uh, bringing you to a better level. If the, the staff you are using are not good enough, uh, at some point you will stay at the same level because you are only as good as your teachers are, and. Uh, uh, I, I do believe in that, and I'm trying to have the the, um, the best uh, game plan to to get better and better every day, and uh, to have uh, yeah to, to to just have a planning uh, of my week that is going to make me a better fighter. So, considering that right now, which of the disciplines do you feel most comfortable with? Which one would you put at the top of the list, and which one do you feel like you need the most improvement? Uh, f- Today I feel I, I'm I'm well rounded, but I feel I have uh, um, still a lot of stuff to learn in each one. But now it's not anymore like a, uh, a huge weakness, but like a, a lot of of adjustment of on specific work, like a top half guard or for ground, for example, um, uh, back takes, uh, 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 clinch work uh, for 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 striking, for example. Uh, uh, distance management uh, in wrestling, uh, some uh, uh, fence defense, uh, Mm. uh, a lot of small things like this uh, that I'm going to improve to get even better and to let no room uh, for the guys because there's one thing that we have in our family, uh, we are tough as hell and uh, that's one thing I I will, like when I talk about instinct, that w- that's one thing that will never change uh, in my mentality, my way of fighting. So I want to get a better fighter skill-wise and physically, but my mentality we will keep the same. Speaking of instincts, uh, Frivola is, is moving away from you. Yeah. And you, like, it's almost like, it was almost like a slap. Like, you nailed him as he's moving away, which is yeah. extremely hard to do. Could you tell me how you pulled that off? Like, what were you seeing? I mean, obviously, you 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 could tell that you were within range to, to land that kick, but it was very unique because he was clearly trying to get away from you in that yeah. moment, and you were able to make him pay. Yeah, because I'm a, a pressure fighter, uh, uh, those kind of uh, conditions that happens a lot when uh, the guys are fighting me. They don't want to clinch with me or to wrestle with me or to be in close distance, or they they are trying to get distance back. So um, I have a good uh, left kick. Uh, I had already uh, marked him with a um, with a, a, a leg kick on uh, two or three body kicks. So I knew uh, the the time will come where I will try the eye kick as well, and uh, I feel like uh, it was a moment because uh, just after the scramble, usually the heart rate gets a bit higher. Um, the ability to take uh, um, instinct uh, instant uh, decision is a bit uh, 
um, less uh, good. So I took the opportunity. I felt like it was a perfect moment to try it. Uh, I had a small moment of hesitation between the middle and the high kick, but I went for the high kick. It was amazing. And I love the respect afterwards, both of you saluting each other uh, and you thanking him afterwards for taking this fight. Because I would imagine there's a lot of people who don't want to fight you right now. Do you feel that? Do you sense that? That it's, as you continue to do this, it's getting harder and harder to get people to sign up to fight you? Yeah, um, I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm young and I'm hungry, so I'm looking for... The and you're really division. good. And and I don't think a lot of people want to fight a guy who... I don't know, what are you ranked right now? Did they put you? Yeah, yeah some something like 11, I think. Okay, yeah, 11. Yeah, so yeah. I, I could see these guys maybe five, six, seven saying, like, I want nothing to do with this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's a UFC. It's a... It's the playground of the greatest, so you, they will have no choice because uh, it's how it works. The guys who is on the winning streak, he, he deserves to fight uh, the champions and uh, to have the opportunity at least. And um, I have a uh, whole confidence in the company for putting on uh, the biggest and the greatest fights. Uh, so you made your debut, you lost, that was your only pro loss, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was short notice, not in your weight class. Yeah. How hard of a pill was that to swallow? Because, you know, first impression, you don't want to lose in your debut. I'm sure the brass appreciated the fact that you took a fight on short notice in a different weight class, but that's not the dream, right? To lose your UFC debut. So how hard was that for you? Uh, it was a lot of controversy for this fight because, um, yeah, short notice, of course, but I had the opportunity to, de- to do a better fight because I did a good uh, first round, you know. It's in the second round that I lost a bit my mind. Uh, it was the first time I had a, a round where I, where I was not sure of winning it. So um, I got a bit lost, you know, like uh, it's not normal. Usually I, 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 I steamroll on the people. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and uh, I need to put more gas on and uh, I, I took too much risk. I was too much open and I only had two years of uh, mixed martial art expense. Or I, had, I, had, uh, I did let a lot more openings that I uh, would let today. And uh, I got countered a lot and I took a lot of shots in the second round. Um, I was also surprised uh, by the physicality of the guy. He's a tough guy, but... Uh, you know, he, he comes from a time lapse where there was no uh, no control of our drugs, and he, he got uh, positive for Osterin. You know, th- three months after our fight, I knew he, he was on stuff. You know, the body. You could tell uh, the power. Of, yeah, you can tell. In training, you you have the you know who is on stuff and who is not, and you can tell the difference. And I could tell. Okay, he's eight kilogram. Uh, uh, bigger and he's all the stuff so it was difficult to keep him down and to put him down so it was a tiring fight but also the fight I enjoyed the most because I think we gave a, a great fight um, like I say I I do I do not uh, have anything against the guy because he comes from a period a time period where I was talking to Jeff Nowitzki who is from the USADA he told me at, at those times they were all on stuff to protect themselves you know because uh, obviously everybody was on stuff. Mm. You know, the Brock Lesnar period, Alistair, the big rim period, it yes. was there. So um, they had to do it to protect themselves. But uh, it's always tough to f- to fight those guys with with the experience they have and the um, body differences with the uh, with the stuff on. And yeah, it was a tough pill to. To swallow that, uh, even with a positive test, I keep the defeat and I didn't get the no contest. But it's yeah, why is that? Works. I, I, I believe there is no retroactivity, you know, in the in Abu Dhabi. Like, mm. um, yeah, if uh, if you get caught, but one day after, it doesn't count. You have to get caught like in the, the competitive period. Yeah, yeah, it's some stuff um, that can be still improved. I I do believe because uh, our sport it's just grow, growing uh, crazy. And uh, I do believe it's going to be the greatest uh, sport we we will have seen in a, in, a, in a couple of years. It, it, More than football? Uh, worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, I do believe. You think so? Uh, yeah, it's 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 like it's it's gonna be the the global combat sports. I mm. do believe. Yes, for sure. Believe, like uh, uh, um, the fight of the year are not gonna be anymore like uh, English boxing. It's gonna be 
mixed martial arts, you know. I do, I do really believe that. How do you explain what's happened in France? Because, you know, for a long time covering the sport, it was always illegal in France, and now finally it's legal. And the explosion of, uh, like, the fans there are incredible. I haven't been lucky enough to be at one of the events just yet, but to hear them singing uh, Le Marseillaise. Is it yeah. La or Le? Yeah, yeah, La Marseillaise. La Marseillaise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex- excuse me, uh, the national anthem. Yeah. And then the crowd going nuts. And then there was, you know, your fight, your, the event you were just at, and then there was the PFL one there yeah. with Cédric Doumbé. Yeah. And, those, and it's like, these are insane crowds. Yeah, yeah. This is amazing. How has it exploded? Why has it exploded all of a sudden? I even see like on your social media, like the, the likes and stuff. It's mm. Incredible numbers. You guys are all so famous and beloved, Cyril Gann and yeah. Manon Firo and all these. How do you explain all of this? Why is this happening? Uh, f- because the French uh, population has been waiting for uh, the UFC for a lot of years. You know, a uh, um, lot of people loved it, but uh, it was not legal till mm. 2020. COVID period, no UFC. First UFC 2022, second one this year. Um, people have been waiting for it, and uh, I do believe they, they they really love it in France. And now even the big public in France is starting to discovering it and to to enjoy it. It's like uh, the UFC in the 2000 period uh, in the US, you know. But for us, it's right. like uh, it's we, we 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 are telling that a lot in France. Everything is ar- arriving. Uh, 10 or 15 years later than in America. And, uh, it, it, this is what happened with, uh, with mixed martial arts. So now it, it's a crazy period to be a French fighter in France. It's more popular than boxing in France, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Much more. Yeah, much more. Are, do, yeah. Do, you, do you get a lot of attention over there? Yeah. And you, how do you deal with that? It, it, do you like it? It starts to, to get big. Yeah, I, you know, I'm living in a, in a region uh, where it's uh, all about rugby. Uh. So... It's good for me. Okay. I, I can rest. I watch the rugby guys and uh, I can do my job. And, uh, but not uh, for long. Training. Uh, the more you go, the more... We will see that. But yeah, uh, yeah I enjoy also the, the love the people give me um, and uh, all the encouragement. And uh, it, it's a lot of emotion and it's a big motivation for me. Uh, I'm a happy man. Uh, you know, uh, like, yeah, I'm... Happy young father and uh, husband and uh, a lot of uh, great staff, uh, great family. I'm, I'm more than happy in my life, so I'm working hard to, to make all these people uh, proud of, uh, of um, this career. And uh, I'm blessed to have all this surrounding and uh, all those love of the French population now that is getting bigger and bigger. I love it. Did you see the last event? Uh, Mbappe was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the whole team was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. How come they, they need to come to your event too? Yeah, I, I think they Are you they friends will. with those guys? I think they will. Uh, you know, I'm more of a kind of a rugby You're guy. You're more of a rugby guy. Yeah, right? but uh, yeah, I like football as well. But, Who's your uh, club in football? Uh, Lens. Lens, uh, it's, okay. uh, yeah, it's a So you're not a PSG guy like everyone no, else? No, no, it's north, north of France. You know, I'm uh, coming from uh, a lot of uh, places in France because my father was also in the military. So we moved a lot when we oh, were wow. children. But I'm more uh, a guy of the southwest, Bayonne, and from north, Lille, uh, where I like Lille and Lens, and uh, yeah. Uh, I love Lance. <laughs> Lille has a great player uh, from Canada named Jonathan David. You know this guy? Yeah, Jonathan? yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. Well, yeah, Striker. Yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Lots so, of goals. Yes. So is that why you went into the military? Because your father was in the military? Um, we we didn't uh, did the exact same thing. He was in the Foreign Legion. Okay. And, uh, um, of course, he, he brought me discipline, but... Um, I, I do believe uh, I'm blessed to have uh, had a, a great education. It was in between. Uh, uh, he gave, he and my mother gave me a lot of love, but also a lot of um, discipline. And I believe uh, for a good education, it's uh, exactly what you need. Uh, you know, uh, a mix between love and discipline. And uh, yeah, we were. Uh, I was blessed to have that, and uh, yeah, I, I, I have always been looking uh, on for for my father's um, uh, after my father's career. But we did very uh, different. Uh, he went to be an officer. I went directly uh, uh, as a soldier to to go to the special forces. But because all I all I, all I wanted was about terrain, you know, and to go outside the country and to to fight. Uh, You're fearless. You don't, does anything scare you? Uh, my, the couple of first uh, 
our first skydiving experience, yes, but uh, other than that... Uh, like, did you... More nervous before that or like a UFC fight at MSG? No, I'm uh, more nervous uh, for the two first jumps. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, because uh, uh, it's uh, the first time you go out of a plane. Is, yeah, how high were you? Um, uh, the, the first, the two first times, uh, very low, like uh, uh, a thousand feet. How many times do you do it before you do it in real life? Like how how long do you have to train for? Uh, uh, two weeks for automatic sky jump, w which is very low. It's to to have a lot of people uh, have, uh, very fast on the ground, and it's two months uh, for skydiving. Uh, at uh, I um, uh, hate uh, to to be able to have an opening right away and to infiltrate yourself on your group. Uh, uh, for example, with uh, the wind, you can do as much as four. Uh, 40 kilometers uh, wow. between the um, the place where you are jumping from and where you go. So, for example, you can be you can be jumping in France and arriving in Germany. Wow, yeah. that is amazing. And 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 uh, God forbid this would ever happen, but can they call you back? Like, are you a reservist or? There, there, there was a, yeah, of course, but um, it's only for five years. So oh. I think you know the period is close to be over. Or okay. It's only if bad thing happens, uh, uh, but it, it has to be really bad uh, to, for them to call you back. Okay. Hopefully uh, that, that that never happens. <laughs> um, and do you still keep in touch with your? Yeah, yeah, of course. They I, must love this to see what's yeah, happening. Yeah, to you, yeah. Right? I have a lot of a uh, lot of. Um, uh, um, enthusiasm for, for from uh, all my uh, compatriots and uh, all uh, all my uh, military friends. They, they love it. They are watching it and they, they are pushing me to to be to be better and to to we exchange also a lot uh, when I can. I, we are exchanging um, and uh, yeah, I, I try to keep one foot uh, uh, inside this community because uh, I love it and uh, yeah, it's always. Uh, Enjoyable to to keep uh, a couple of skill sets uh, uh, for the future. You know, I won't be a fighter all my life. So um, I think I will be a fighter all my life in the in the spirit and uh, in the way I, I'm living my life. Uh, but um, I won't be a UFC fighter right. all my life. So uh, yeah, it's always good to 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 keep your your skills. Uh, God of War. Speaking of spirit, who who gave you that nickname? My brothers, my okay. little brothers. You know, I came back from. Uh, so I was uh, doing war when I was nineteen. So uh, yeah, they 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 find it was a a good nickname to, to for a former military uh, special force member. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Okay, um, and I'm not. Have you watched the fight? Have you watched it back? You're, yeah, I watched it one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think uh, when you were doing the post fight interview? Yeah. And you mentioned, uh, you know, who you want to fight next, and they showed Justin Gaethje. Yeah, he didn't look all that excited yeah. about the idea of fighting you. This is what I was referencing earlier. What did you make of what you saw when you saw they did the split screen? Ah, uh, you know, it, it is the fight I want to have. It, 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 it's, is, is that the one at the top of the list? Uh, it's on the top of the list, of course. Uh, I mean, um, it, it's not his fault, but there is gonna be. Uh, I do believe they are gonna make uh, Makashev against Oliveira. Mm -hmm. uh, Gage is a warrior; he likes activity, so we will have to fight again. And uh, um, big dates are coming for next year. And uh, he has already been defeating uh, Dustin Poirier. He has been defeating a lot of tough guys. Uh, and I do believe this is a fight for the BMF. <laughs> and he has the chin to make it a war because he. he uh, you can have tough guys, but if they don't have the chin with me, they, it's not going to make it. And I do believe we both have a chin to, that uh, we can crack a couple of times. And um, if people want uh, a violent fight and uh, a fight uh, that could uh, be uh, lived in the history, I think it's a fight to make. Uh, I do believe we can have a, a, a fight that is going to be crazy, crazy scramble, crazy punching exchanges. And uh, yeah. I, I have a lot of respect for him, but I do believe he will he will have to fight before getting uh, the title because of this uh, Islam Makachev sure. and Oliveira stuff. And um, Islam doesn't fight this much, so he will have to wait a lot. 
uh, yeah, if you want a war and uh, anywhere, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm for it. Yeah, it's. Do you think there's a chance you get that next? Are you why not? It's the UFC. Uh, why not? I mean, uh, a lot of guys are booked already in the, in the division. Uh, I mean, there is Gamrod, Dustin, and him that are not booked. So those three guys are. You would take any of them. Me. Yeah, of course. But the one at the top of the list is Justin. It, it will be... That will be incredible. It, like I said, I'm in the mixed martial art because I saw this uh, Endo versus Shogun fight, this uh, McDonald against uh, Obi Lauer. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I can see a bloodbath and something like uh, uh, where my teeth are going to grow <laughs> during the fight. You know, yeah, just it's crazy excitement. and uh, That excites you? A bloodbath yeah. excites you? Oh, yeah, yeah, Why yeah. does that excite you? Don't you want to not get hit, not no, get No, I want a tough fight. I, I, you know, I want to fight when I'm going to be 45. I'm watching it and I, well, I'm like, ah, it, was good. it was a good <laughs> fight. I want it to be tough, you know. It, it, when you, you feel you are out of breath, you have blood in your mouth, uh, you love your, this. Yeah, your body is tired, your spirit is a bit broken, and let's see who is going to be broken the most and uh, which spirit is going to let go before the other, you know. And uh, to make a fight like this, you have also to have a shin. Because if you don't have the shin, it won't last. So I believe he has the shin for it. And uh, yeah, I, I would enjoy it. And, uh, oh, my gosh. It's the guy I want to uh, you're getting You're getting me all excited inside here. <laughs> the idea of this fight. Yeah, crazy. I see no scenario where this is a bad fight. No, no, it, it's me neither. So, do you think he is interested? I do believe he's interested in 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 tough fights and in uh, making a point in the division. So, he will have to make a point, uh, and uh, he he has a lot of options. He's he's a better rank guy. He's a veteran. He's a he is a star, but. Uh, uh, I do believe it could be a fight that excites him as well. Where this time next year, if we're speaking in November of 2024, where do you think you're at? <laughs> um, if I have this fight, uh, uh, I have already one belt around my waist, and I'm looking for the next one. You think this time next year you're in the title picture? Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna give uh, my all to to be to be the guy in the title. Yeah, uh, to be a real title contender, yeah, 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 of course. It's 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 all I wish for my team, my staff, my family, or for all the people that are pushing me to be there. And uh, that's that's what what we are gonna do. We are gonna work as hard as we can to get there. And uh, I do believe I'm. I earned a, a great fight for my next fight, and yes. uh, uh, it's going to be one more step to, to get uh, that belt uh, around my waist. By the way, when you were starting, uh, was there any fighter in particular that you, for lack of a better word, looked up to that you really liked, that you tried to emulate? Was there anyone that stood above the rest? Um, I, yeah, I have to go for Rafael dos Anjos on BJ Penn. Wow. Because they are well-rounded and... Uh, very, I like, I love the warrior mentality. You know, they they took the best challenges they could, not always the best challenges for their career, but the best challenges to give you a great show. I mean, look at Rafael dos Anjos; he has been fighting uh, Colby, uh, Leon Edwards. Uh, yes, Camaro, he doesn't uh, say no to anyone. No, he, I actually uh, was Khabib, saying on Monday he has been fighting anybody. I thought they might do you versus him next. It could be great. Could Would be you great. like that? It, it it could be great as well, but yeah. uh, um, I heard he want to stay at welterweight now. Okay. So yeah, I am a little bit more excited for for a guy that wants to fight in my division. Right. But uh, yeah, it it could be a great fight and uh, BJ Penn as well because the guy it's the same thing. I mean, he he fought in uh, in heavyweight against Leo Tomashida yeah. in the beginning of his career, and it's it's the only guy in the UFC. To have been uh, uh, both champion in lightweight and welterweight, mm -hmm. which are, in my opinion, with the 66, the three more stacked on on the um, heavy talented division. So he's the only guy to have uh, make it so far. 70, 77. It's very hard to do because there is a lot of difference in weight because between the 77 and the 70. 66, 70, you can see there is already a big difference between right. Volkanovski and Makashev. Yeah, yeah. But 70, 77, even bigger. Wow. 
Um, I like those two choices. Not everyone says those two names as far as inspirations are concerned. Uh, you said something that was really interesting before. Your wife is your agent. Yeah, yeah. Why, why is that? Uh, she is a former football player. She she won the um, a European Cup with uh, in uh, for um, uh, you know football, but uh, f- um, it's uh, inside. It's not outside. Oh, um, futsal. Futsal. Yeah, it's a yeah. small ball. It, um, it's a smaller ball. N- uh, yeah, a bit smaller, but yeah. not a lot smaller. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She she won it with the girls of Toulouse. So wow. She was a she's a former um, a professional. Uh, uh, f- a feminine football player, wow. and uh, then she stopped that to to go to the police after the Bataclan events in France. Yeah, and uh, it's the same time I stopped my uh, military career to try to be a professional uh, athlete. Wow. And so um, uh, we have kind of a crossover. So I helped her to be um, uh, to be a police officer uh, the best I could. Like she was already great at it, but for example, in small stuff like. Uh, being um, in a, an instructor in shooting, she she went to do it, and she's like a, one of the only women to to make to make it out. And I, I help her with that, for example, because I had a a lot a lot of uh, rounds uh, um, that I have been shot before. And I'm uh, you you have to be a good shooter when in, you are in special force, but right. because in you know, a state liberation, if you don't shoot the right head, it's not gonna be yes. good for your career. So you have to be good at it. It's your. It's it's one of of the biggest uh, specialty you you have to be good you at. You worked it with hostage liberation. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. It's, wow. it's part of the job, you know. Uh, um, that must be very stressful, in addition to everything else. But just because yeah. you're dealing, it's so close, right? Yeah. The, the margin of error. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very close. And one of my uh, good friends, uh, they they is a last hostage liberation where they were Americans uh, were liberated in France. Wow. We had um, uh, two uh, killed in operation uh, on our side from the uh, ma- um, Commando Marine, they are called. And uh, they did this action uh, combined with uh, our guys. And uh, yeah, it's a, a difficult job because um, you t- you take a lot of risk. because it, It's like you have to take the, the guy out in a fight in less than three minutes. So you, so you take more risk because uh, uh, you, you have to go fast before... The terrorists are going to execute the stage, or you, 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 you have on you. Usually, you lose uh, the surprise. You, right. uh, you lose it uh, very fast because in the desert, for example, they are hearing you coming in. So it's very difficult to keep the the, 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 the big surprise. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Hostage liberation is one of the most complete, uh, complicated mission for special forces. Uh, I do believe it's more complicated than uh, um, the defense uh, of uh, political, uh, politically um, uh, personalities or stuff like that. Yeah. Right. So, so why did you get your wife to be your agent? Uh, because because of that, it it, it has gotten a family adventure now. Ah. She she is a, a mama now, and uh, uh, we wanted uh, to yeah to. She's following me, and she's uh, my biggest support. And um, she loves the sports world, and uh, uh, now she loves MMA. And uh, she's following my career uh, since the beginning. And um, she has also uh, an experience on uh, social media, and uh, yeah, she used it to to help me. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. So she's the one talking to the UFC about your fights and uh, uh, no, not all the time, but uh, like for my my partners, my financial partners, my sponsoring, nice um, uh, the the media stuff. I'm only taking care of UFC with my uh, my manager. Okay, and uh, I'm only so I can focus only on my uh, sports uh, staff. You know, like uh, I, uh, I I'm focusing on sparring partners. Uh, English boxing trainers, uh, wrestling trainers, uh, all that stuff. It's my part, and she's focusing on uh, branding, every the, every everything, merchandising, uh, all the stuff that comes with a, a UFC career. By the way, uh, how did you learn how to speak English so well? Um, it was uh, at school. At school, you know, uh, we are not uh, well known to to have a good English, but it's getting better now. So I had the opportunity to work uh, my English uh, at school. And then um, I had a couple of exchange. Uh, when you are in the special uh, air service, you, you have exchanges. I had with um, 
uh, in Australia with the first uh, SIS regiment in Australia, which is in Perth. It's a, a special air service regiment uh, from the Commonwealth. Um, I did an exchange two months, uh, so you, you, you could only talk English all the time, uh, so you have to, to be good at it. And um, uh, also, uh, um, if you want to have the ability to talk to, the, um, uh, to uh, all the, um, the Americans, like uh, informations and uh, at, uh, flights and everything, uh, like artillery and uh, all your allies, you have to, to be able to use English as well and uh, specific vocabulary. Right, right, of, of course. course. Um, are you going to go to the Olympics next year? Are you excited about that in Paris or you don't care about that? Uh, if, if I can have a shot at uh, English boxing or wrestling, yes. Yeah. Can you try out? Yeah, um, I'm in touch with um, uh, the trainer of the French uh, wow. boxing Olympic uh, team, which he is training me uh, um, sometimes. He's Cuban and uh, he's taking care of the French uh, Olympic team. Uh, so I think uh, maybe with him, yeah, I will I will try wow. some places. Yeah. Will you really try? Uh, to not not myself. Oh, okay. uh, you mean to box? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, um, but uh, I have I already talked. Maybe uh, go watch. With, yeah, but watch. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Of course, of, I, I do believe if you want to do it, you have at least to de dedicate one one full year. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's different sports. Sure, you know? sure, sure. Uh, you were at a Nick game recently. I saw you there at the New York Knicks basketball game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jersey BSD. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you enjoy that? Yeah, f a fan uh, gave me that. Uh, wow, just yeah. a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you I are. Was very happy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I enjoy the game. And, uh, uh, yeah, so, um, I believe in America you know how to do a show because uh, um, in our game, um, of course, uh, we are like, uh, you know, we are like, like you say, we are crazy crowd. But uh, it's not a spectacle like uh, the NBA or the NFL games. It's crazy. Man, France is uh, killing it. You have, uh, you know, Mbappe and the French team made it to the final. Uh, there's a guy named uh, Victor Wembanyama. You yeah, know this guy? yeah, he's doing great. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. And you and uh, the rest of the fighters, you guys are all doing incredible things. Francis Ngannou, I know he's yeah. not from France, yeah, but, yeah. you know, uh, spent a lot of time there. It's a great time for French sports. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, we... If you are French and you are watching sports right now, you are enjoying it, of uh, course. Do they write about you in L'Equipe? Yeah. They yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. They I love L'Equipe. Yeah, L'Equipe is good. <laughs> Legendary. Uh, well, this has been a lot of fun. When do you think we see you again? Uh, as soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as no break? Uh, I will take uh, some holidays with my wife, and uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, like March or uh, April. Uh, so March, April against Justin Gaethje. That's the dream. That's the dream. <laughs> What's the pitch to him? What would you say to him? Uh, I would say I, I will give you one. Uh, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> uh, great to meet you. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Yes, thank you and, very uh, much. Congratulations thank on you. all your success. Enchanté. And I, and I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.